What's going on, fans? It's Trampoy55, and welcome to a 16 custom made Trackmaster Thomas trains. Today, we're going to take a look at the international engines and the custom trains first, and then I can show you what I got from Totally Thomas Town and on eBay. First stop, let's take a look at Lorenzo from Italy. I painted his lamps gold. Paint the buffers in the front coupling black. I gold sharpie his wheels, the cylinder, and I silver sharpie the the handrail and this thing. And I gold sharpie on top. And I gold sharpie his windows on both sides and also the best of all I detail the inside cab a silver for a, shov for a shovel and the windows and also his firebox and also I painted his buffer beam on his tender and I also separate, or make it into another way, to make him look like that he has this actual tender in the other way. And also, I opposite Lorenzo, I mean, I mean, Beppe. I unscrewed and Switch him, switch his body over. Now Pepe was, was now looks like he was in the face, facing the right way. Also, I customized Gina. Her, I customized her lamp, her buffers, her wheels, and I painted the middle wheel black and cut it. The round shape. I also painted gold for his whist for her whistle, and I black sharpie her windows. Now Jean now looks much better than before. Next, here's my trackmaster Ashima that I got for Christmas last year along with Lorenzo, Beppe, and Gina. I did the detailed like I did to play Relishima. Silver Sharpie for the wheels and the side rods on both sides. Using artwork on her smoke box, her funnel, the buffer beams, and her lamp. Yep, she still works. Let me get my Play Relishima right here. This is how I detail both of these. Next up is Raul of Brazil. I get rid of the side rods, painted the wheels black, silver sharpie for his stairs, and two of them right here on both sides. I add the windows, added the front coupling, and I silver sharpie his lamp. He looks much better like in the TV series. Next stop is Gustavo, the big blue diesel engine from Brazil. I detailed his lamp for silver sh sharpie on the front. And I get rid of the side rods. Now that's what he looks like when he was in the TV series.
Next up is my custom D261, aka Bowler. I updated his face, his buffers, his windows. He looks much better like in the TV series. Next up is my Trekmaster Gordon that, that my friend Jacob gave me. I painted his mouth, his eyes. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I accidentally said mouth instead of teeth. Painted the running boards white. And I painted the buffer beam on the back of his tender. And I painted the the lines red and I silver painted on his handrails. Yep, he still works. Next we have Hector, the not horrid at all, that I got from E. They like last year. I fixed his face for an elephant paint. The elephant paint is the same face as the Thomas Thomas and all of his friends' faces. And I black sharpie his buffers from scratches. And now he looks brand new. Next, here's my updated Victoria. I updated her face, her windows, and the whole body, and I painted her buffers, her buffer beam white. And I did an awesome job for her mouth. And also, here's the one that my grandma gave me for cheering me up since my service dog hero, he sadly passed away for like last month. So he gave me this firework car, which I already have. Now I got two of these. And I painted the roof the same color like I did to Hector. He looks brand new. And now I have two firework cars. Next up, here's this box car. I repainted it. And I painted the gray roof on top. Now he definitely looks like uh, one of the cars that was used for Henry for taking the Flying Kipper. Next up, I updated the Spikeful Brake Fan. The reason why I repainted the Spikeful Brake Fan is because the NWR painted black was pretty too much, um, so I decided to change into his normal former glory color like in the TV series. And I kept the face, and I repainted all over his body, and I kept the roof on top black. And I silver sharpie those lines so that you could tell where, where the steps were at. Next stop is Lady the Golden Engine. I repainted her eyes. And she looks much better. And yep, she still works. Also, and I'm still planning for um, making my own movie project, Thomas and the Magic Railroad Director's Cut Adaptation, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Thomas and the Magic Railroad. That way, I need more female acting so that we need a voice act Lady, Lily's mother, Lily, and Stacy Jones. Oh, and even Lily's daughter. Because that way I can it could get in my movie on wheels. Next is Emily. Not only I put her lamp on, I add the number on her tender. Number twelve. I made it out of Microsoft Paint program or in Photoshop. I printed it and I 
glue them. This is what happens in Emily to the Rescue episode in series 24. This is the first version of... This is my extra Emily that I use. I mean, extra Emily's tender I use. This is her actual tender. That way, I like to keep both versions of her tenders. With or without her number. Next up is the Dockyard Diesel, Salty himself. I got him off of eBay that came with a green truck. I detail his handrails on top. And I also detailed the steps and some door handles all over him. He looks much better. Next up is Green Salty that I got it from uh, from Garage Sales. I up I use Silver Sharpie for his handrails like I did with Salty and also on the cab on both sides. Next stop we have Percy. I detail, I repainted his cylinder, which is the same color as his body. And I painted his lamp. Yep, he still works. Also, but before we can end this video, here I'm going to show you that what I got from Totally Thomas Town and on eBay. So, we have two Emily's coaches. I finally got Emily's coaches. They're all in great condition. And now Emily could have her own coaches. Just like just like the ones in the series 7th episode, Emily's new coaches. Next up is a Playrell or Tomy Splatter and Dodge with a Works Unit Coach. I finally got this Unit Coach and I finally got Splatter. So now I have two versions of Dodge. This is the Tomy or Play Rail, and this one is a Fitcher Price. So, which one of these Dodges you like better? The Tomy or the Fitcher Price one? Please leave the comments if you like to. I already give these two Splatter and Dodge a battery, and it works. And the great news is, I finally got my hand on the Works Unit Coach and Emily's Coaches, all of my own. The next one I need to search on eBay was a um, Trackmaster Dennis Porter Red, Red Express Coaches and Spencer's Coaches. Because that way I could have more of these coaches. Even though that I'm getting a Winrail Trekmaster or Tommy Henrietta into Hannah. So, um, I really like these two coaches, and I'm very glad I finally got my hands on these two, including Splatter. And that's all I gotta show ya for my 16 custom made Trekmaster Thomas trains. Thank you guys so much for watching and hope we'll see you all next time in the custom in the next custom video.